Some breaking news for you now, and in the last few minutes it has been confirmed that the former England manager Graham Taylor has died. He was 72. Well, let's speak to our sports correspondent Andy Swiss, who is at the BBC Sports Centre. He was a player, then he was a manager, later a pundit. He has been a very, very big figure in the world of football for a long time now. That's right, Sophie. Yes, this is very sad news, which, as you say, has just broken within the last few minutes. Graham Taylor uh, first rose to prominence as manager of Watford between 1977 and 1987. He was hired by the then new owner, uh, Sir Elton John. He guided Watford from the fourth division to the first division in just five years. An extraordinary achievement. He guided them to the uh, FA Cup final. He then became manager of Aston Villa before, in 1990, he took over as England manager from Sir Bobby Robson. He suffered a difficult few years uh, in the England job. He took them to the European Championships in 1992, where they were knocked out in the group stages by Sweden. He controversially substituted, you might remember, uh, captain Gary Lineker in his very final match. Uh, that prompted the famous tabloid headline, Swedes 2, Turnips 1. He stayed on, but he resigned in 1993 after failing to guide uh, England to the World Cup. He suffered huge personal criticism, really, during his time as England manager, particularly after a, a fly-on-the-wall documentary uh, which was broadcast uh, shortly after he resigned as England manager. You remember his famous uh, quote in that, uh, do I not like that? Uh, after that, though, he returned to club management, returned to Watford, enjoyed more success there, guided them into the Premier League. And after that, he became uh, a radio pundit uh, with BBC Radio, hugely respected for his views, a, a very popular figure across football with fans, with players, with other managers, this is very sad news indeed for the game, Sophie.